T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, liftoff. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T minus 42 seconds into the mission. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. And we are preparing for max Q coming up in about 20 seconds. That is the moment in which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Everything looking good Mach with one. everything looking good with uh, vehicle performance and trajectory. Max Q. All right, there's that call telling us that uh, we're now past the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. We also heard the call out a few seconds before that from Mach 1 telling us that the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up, we have three events happening in quick succession. For those of you that have watched our MVAC webcast, engine chill has started. Those familiar with our webcast, this will. Uh, uh, be very familiar. Uh, we have main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation and SES1 or second engine start one. Main engine cutoff is where all nine M1D engines, which you see uh, right now fully lit, they will shut down and that will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And that's where the first stage- the Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. First stage will separate from the second stage. Right after stage separation, uh, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth, targeting a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, second engine start one, or SES one. And that's where we will light the single MVAC engine, and it will propel the second stage along with the SES eight. Main engine cutoff. Confirm stage separation. And back ignition. All right, there we can see a really neat shot of the first stage looking at the second stage, second stage looking at the first stage. There's a beautiful view of both of those uh, stages, one behind the other. The one uh, towards the bottom of your screen, that is the second stage with the MVAC engine now lit. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. We're expecting fairing separation in about seven seconds. Confirmed fairing separation. And there we can see those fairing halves have separated. This was the seventh flight for one fairing half and the third flight for the other fairing half. We're now T plus three minutes and 45 seconds into launch. Everything looking nominal for both the first and second stages. Be sure to keep an, of signal, Bermuda. Be sure to keep an eye on the stage one and stage two telemetry readouts on the bottom corners of your screen. And that is a really cool view. Uh, we're able to see we're able to see both fairing halves um, as well as the first and second stage. That second stage again is uh, the dot on the far left, the brightest one, because that's from the MVAC engine. And I believe the first stage is actually the dot towards the bottom of your screen, because we can kind of see those cold gas thrusts coming from it. There on the left-hand side of your screen, we have the first stage, right-hand side, beautiful orange glow of the MVAC engine on that second stage. As I was saying, keep an eye on the telemetry there Both in the bottom. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. 
on the bottom of your screen, we can now see uh, that first stage has reached its, its apogee, at that altitude there. It's, it seems like it's hovering. It's basically at its apogee. It will slowly, uh, but then more quickly, um, lose altitude, indicating it's on its way back home to Earth. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will relight. That helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Over the next few minutes, you can also spot how the first stage uses its grid fins. A beautiful view there of those grid fins. Um, those grid fins help steer the vehicle to uh, its landing coordinates. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins, and they're positioned near the top of the first stage. You might also notice those white puffs of gas coming from the top of the first stage. Stage 1 uses quick bursts of nitrogen gas to help with the orientation and attitude control. We're about 40 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. Everything continues to look nominal for the second stage as it carries the SES-18 and SES-19 payloads. We can really see that uh, cold nitrogen gas being utilized for that attitude control there on the left-hand side of your screen. Another form of steering that the first stage uses uh, is engine gimbling, where we actually angle the engines a couple degrees in either direction to help steer the vehicle. And we're about five seconds away from that entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn startup. And there we can see on your screen that entry burn has begun. This burn Stage will... one flight terminations has been saved. This burn lasts for about 23 seconds. Five seconds remaining. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And with confirmation of that entry burn shutdown, Both we have vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. One last burn before the first stage attempts to land on our drone ship. Of course, that's the landing burn. During the first stage landing burn, a single Merlin engine, that center engine, will relight and slow the vehicle down for its uh, attempt, uh, its landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Gorgeous view of the second stage MVAC engine. Uh, right before in that Stage prior two view, is terminal guidance. we were actually able to see the contrail left behind by the first stage um, lit by the sun uh, peeping stage up over the. There you can see the first stage uh, flight path basically illuminated by the sunlight peeking over the horizon of the Earth. For those of you just Second tuning in, flight termination system has saved. we had a successful liftoff at 7.38 p.m. Eastern Time from Pad 40. We expect second engine cutoff one and first stage landing to occur within seconds of each other. And back shutdown. Stage one landing burn. And there we can see the landing burn has begun, as well as that second engine cutoff confirmed. Nominal parking orbit. And we just heard the call out for Stage good one orbit. Landing light deploy. There Stage one landing confirmed. This marks SpaceX's 180th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket and the sixth landing for this particular booster, having previously supported CRS-24, UTELSAT Hotbird 13F, OneWeb-1, and two Starlink missions. And as we heard just prior to the booster landing, we had a confirmation of successful second engine cutoff and good orbit. So the second stage is now heading into a coast phase. 